All right, quick video on my voltage meter. As you can see, it's uh, there. It is. It's lit up, and this one I got from Amazon. And if you push that little button there on the right, it'll shut off the backlit, which doesn't really draw much power. Uh, right now, I got two LED lights on, so I'm running at 2.52 amps. Batteries at 12.78. Um, I haven't checked the accuracy of it, but uh, there's one of the lights up there. Let's shut this one off. And go back down. Take a look. Now we're at 1.33. So we'll go back up to here and turn this one off. So they're both off. So we're at. Was it 0 0.05 amps? So not too bad. Um, let's go ahead and shut that display off. Let me see if I can find something to poke in there. Okay, now it's off. Let's see if I can get some light in here. Uh, 0 0.04. So that's it. Uh, no, I went back to 0 0.05, 0 0.04, so it's bouncing around right in between. So now it's back on. 0 0.05. Let's see if it drops. Yeah, so it's, it's actually doesn't seem like it's drawn any more power because uh, it's still bouncing around. No, it's staying at five, so okay. Nope, oh, back down again. Power 0.6 watts. It's kind of cool. It was really cheap on Amazon. Let me uh, turn the lights back on. Give you a rundown of what I did. Alright, so on this side is the display unit. So there's wires coming out, and I just got them strapped in. Going over to the other side. So the shunt is, I think that's what you call the shunt, and it's over there. Um, that's on the negative side. Um, so basically, power coming from the inverter or battery goes into one side, and then going out to all the lights and everything else on the other side so that's what's reading the power uh, other things I just did uh, last night is I put this uh, pump in for the water and I don't have it hooked up right now there's a filter so I got it all clamped up um, got it working I didn't get to see what it draws because I have a busted um, drain so actually it's off right now oh, there it is back here so there it is it, there was a screw that went into here where'd it go right there and that busted off so that's where it was leaking from it was leaking out the bottom of here so I busted off. I gotta find a new one. Um, hopefully they're universal. I've seen two different models on the internet. So I'm gonna see if I can get it locally so I can get it fixed tomorrow. And replace the faucet. That's the one that's got a switch in there. Um, actually, there's the pump. Oh good, I got the I got the drain in so but the only thing I don't like about it is you got to pull up at a handle pretty hard to get to get the switch to turn on um, let's record this power and see what happens when I uh, turn the pump on here there's 
Goes up to 4.6. Just say 4.6. Let's place it. Let's run it one more time. So we're going back down. 2.51. Yeah, so it's just about two amps it's drawn. Um, I think they tell you to put a fuse in there for a three amp, so so that's probably about right. So that's cool. So that's it. My dogs are coming in to visit. Um, yeah, there's my mess for all this. I guess this is stuff I could have done when I was building it, but. I guess you make mods as you go. So I think that's about it. Um, next thing is to, if anybody has any idea about this one, um, I went with a cheap vent and I seen a video where you take this all out and you get a new unit. It goes like the new screen and stuff. Um, actually, I think you take the outside cover off too. The inside cover, the outer piece, um, and then you put a new fan in, and then it has a hole for um, the crank, but then it has a fan in there, and it's like the whole thing is a fan. I think it's called a vortex or something. I don't know if they, they're universal and they'll fit this. I don't know. Uh, if anybody has any information on that, let me know, um, because I know they're used to replace vents that already have fans in them. Uh, I would really like to put a fan in there. Um, I would like to get those fans that clip maybe up here on the bunks. Uh, first night we went out it was pretty hot, so there's my fire extinguisher. That was easy to put in, just cut the hole in. so it's recessed in there a little bit. And that's it. So, it's my second video. So hopefully you like that. If you get any questions about that uh, power meter or the voltage meter, uh, let me know. Um, the way I got that cut on the finished uh, surface there was I made, actually I can show you this quick. I made this guy. I screwed up at first, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, I made this and then my idea was um, Basically what I did is I took some blocks of wood and put them around the unit and I um, put a board on top, stapled it, and then routered the, the hole you know, where the blocks were. So it gave me a perfect size. Um, that didn't quite work because I didn't have a way to hold this onto the end of the bench. So then I just took another piece of wood bigger one and cut the hole just use that to the template for this one and then just was able to clamp that one on um, so I basically clamped it right onto the bench and then cut the hole with the router that way it didn't scratch up the surface of uh, the end of the bench and stuff so I get you know, it's all clear coat and turned out really good so I don't want to get it all scratched up so that's it thanks for watching see ya